This is our 2001 Volkswagen <laughs> LT35 TDI long wheelbase converted van that we're going to be using to live in and travel all around the UK and Europe throughout all the seasons. After picking it up, we spent the past few weeks putting on some final touches and properly moving in. And now it's ready for the grand reveal. And here he is, our grey, lovely van, which does have a name now. We will let you know at the end of this video what we've decided to what we've decided to call this van, but I want you to get a feel of it first before we tell you, and let us know in the comments what you think of the name as well. Now, as you can see, it is a very long wheelbase, but that's great for us because we can have a fixed bed inside, which we will show you in a second. It has one big window on this side, and on the other side, it only has a tiny window, so it doesn't get extremely hot in there, which is really nice in the summer, but also in the winter, there's no condensation on the windows either. The colour of this van is grey, but it has this sort of black matte at the front as well. The grey is also matte, which is a very nice colour, I think. To begin with, I didn't really love the colour and I thought maybe we could change it, but now I actually do like it a lot. On the roof, we have three Victron Energy solar panels, which are a total of 525 watts. So when it's sunny, our batteries charge so, so fast. And if you want some superpower, the solar panels also sort of point up towards the sun so you can park in the direction of the sun and it gives you insane amount of power. Yeah. As you can see, there's three seats in the front of this cabbie. Adriana has decided to take the far left seat because there's not that much space in the middle here. Another thing that we've done is we've taken away the sort of headrest here because this cabbie is fully, fully insulated. The insulation is great in this van. Uh, so if we ever did want to, you know, in an emergency or anything, come out from the back, we can open these doors and jump through. Otherwise, the, the headrest would be kind of in the way. So that's why we've got rid of that headrest. This is a manual turbo diesel Volkswagen engine, 2.5 liter. I would have preferred an automatic, but you know, those, especially in vans, are very expensive. Um, so a manual will have to do now. This van has done 180,000 miles, which I think is not actually that bad for a Volkswagen TDI engine. Those can go on for hundreds of thousands of miles. Welcome to our super cozy, little, not so little van. Now, when you first come into our home, you see our lovely YouTube plaque. We had to hang it here, sort of pride front and center. Thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. Super exciting. Eventually, over time, we'll replace this one with the golden plaque, which is 1 million <laughs> subscribers. So a little while from now, but happy nonetheless. The nice thing about when the door is closed is that no one can really see in, but also when we go to bed at night, we've got this little thing. Lovely little blind that covers anyone from actually being able to see in because even though they're tinted, the windows, when it gets dark outside and we have all the lights on inside, I think people can peek in. Our favorite part or one of our favorite parts of this van is probably this lovely sofa unit. One of the major, 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 major selling points was that we had a bed that we didn't have to turn into a sofa. The bed is always a bed and the sofa is always a sofa. So this is technically our dining room, living room, everything chilling room. It is so cozy and definitely big enough for probably a few people sitting around here, but since it's just the two of us sitting here, looking out, opening the window, saying, oh, hi, yeah, oh, it's our van. <laughs> that, my favorite thing to do. This is so lovely, but what you might not see just from looking at it is that there's a lot of different features around here. Now, the first one that you probably already have scouted, is this bad boy? Yes, it's an actual microwave inside an actual van. We were shocked too, and I thought there's no way this van can power a microwave, but it can power a microwave and a pretty hefty coffee machine, but we'll get to that later. This might just look like, oh yeah, a bit of a storage. Maybe you can keep some stuff inside and you can, but when you're sat here at the dining room table, look, my legs don't dingly dangle around. I can actually sit, pull the table out. Oh yeah. Let me just eat a couple of donuts and <laughs> read my book. What we also have, and so many of you guys have been asking about this. Yes, the answer is yes. We have a toilet. 
but it's just hidden away so well. It's in here. Now, there's a couple of different ways to get to it, but if you actually wanted to use it and not just show it, what you would do is take this little pillow off, like that, open this little cupboard, and voila! It's literally ready to be used. When you look at the toilet, it looks just like a regular toilet. It's got two compartments. It's got a front one that's for number one and a back one that's for number two. Now you can close <laughs> a little sort of latch in there. We haven't used it for number two, so this isn't dirty. The previous owner bought a completely new part for that part. So you can open that. You can also close it. And the front, like I said, is for number one, which collects in a nice little bottle at the bottom. And you just take that for a little walk and pour it out in another toilet, obviously. The best part of this toilet is there's a little button. And you might think, what does a button do? Well, it obviously doesn't flush, but... I don't know if you can hear that. It's quite quiet, actually. There's a little fan that just pulls any air from in there out of the van so if you have done <laughs> number two it's not going to smell in here because you're still in the sort of dining living room area you obviously don't want it to be smelly but don't need that on now but yeah for any of you guys that were really worried about the toilet situation why are you no longer yeah a lot of you seem more worried about a toilet than the coffee machine but for us to be honest the coffee machine was way more important <laughs> but we do have a toilet anyway so we have a toilet the one thing that we do not have is a shower now since we're going to be doing a lot of off-gridding in this van we're really umming and awing about getting maybe some sort of electric pump shower something that we can just hang off the back doors because the back doors are actually painted with waterproof paint so that means that if they get splashed with some water it's just gonna come right off. It's it's pretty decent. Next to the toilet, we have loads of different things, but this is a bit more of the boring stuff. But this one we've decided to be our bin. <laughs> this is just recycling, food bin, regular bin. Because we have so much storage in here and because everything is closed with these perfectly latched little cupboard doors, it means that when it's popped out, it can open and close really easily. But when it's popped in, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't swing on open when you're driving around, which is prime time because driving around in a van means that everything needs to be secured. Otherwise, you'll have things rattling around the back. Then another fantastic use thing that we have is this, which is a washing line. So we can pull that all the way out, attach it over here, which means that if we have got any washing or if we've got wet clothes or if it's been raining, which it has been doing pretty much every single day, we can hang that here. It does make the living room slightly less vibey, but it means that you don't just have wet things all around. But, it'll, but by having this vent here, the damp that comes off the clothes can go straight outside. Yeah, this is perfect. Because we don't want any damp in here. Then aesthetically, we also have a whole lot of fairy lights. I bought these fairy lights thinking fairy light things are always so short. <laughs> this one is so long. We kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but it's so, 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 so nice. We've got some storage up here, which is really lovely. Currently, we've just got some books up there um, and a plant. It is real, it's alive, it's a proper plant, and it seems to be thriving up there. The funnest way to water it is <laughs> So we have to fill this up and then syringe it in. <laughs> but it's loving life up there. It's actually really, really nice. It's one thing that we've really wanted in this van was real plants. And we've got another one here as well. And it just brings so much life to the inside. It's something that you want to have in your home, but you wouldn't normally think about having in a van. But this one is attached to the wall. There's an actual screwed in bit. And this one is attached with this wooden section so it doesn't move around anywhere either. What we also have in this area, and this is the rest of this area, are these two storage units. It is so much storage in this place. I honestly, I don't think, I don't even think we have enough stuff to fill up all the storage, but some private stuff up there, some toiletry stuff up there. Brilliant, what more could you want? We've been living in this van now, literally since we moved our stuff in. We have not stayed in a hotel and we have not stayed inside Dylan's parents' house, partially because it feels so much like a home already, 
but also because the electrics are so spot on, it means we haven't needed any other comforts, especially now with our second battery, it's been tip top. There is so much room in the back of this van. I can probably sit in here and close the door. I could even put in a, another single bed if we wanted to. So we had originally one 200 amp hour lithium ion battery, but now we have two. And if you're driving around, which because we have this machine over here, which is a charger for the van engine, we have power being charged from the van while we're driving. And we also have it from the solar. So if both are working at the same time, these batteries will be full in literally no time. We have a 2000 watt Victron Energy inverter here to power everything, like the really powerful machines like the microwave, the coffee machine, charging your laptops, basically anything that goes into a plug like this. Here we have the charger from the mains, so we can charge this van from a campsite hookup or just from a, from a house as well with an adapter. That goes in here. So as you can see there, there's a, there's a plug there. Just pop it in there. Here we just have a few fuses for everything that's running off 12 volts. So the, anything that doesn't need the inverter, we can, um, it just runs off these. Also have a fuse box here, so if we are ever connected to the mains and something does happen, then this will just fuse and it saves your van from uh, going on fire. On this side, we have a safe fill gas canister. I think it's about 20 liters, I think. We filled it up a few weeks ago and it cost us, I don't know, maybe 12 pounds. Yeah. Um, it might be 15 liters, actually. And this one actually is a refillable one. A lot of them are single use. Yep. This one's refillable, which means that on this one full, we can power the gas stove inside for about six months. A few videos ago, you saw me install this carbon monoxide lamp, which I thought was very important for this van. But one of the main reasons is that here we have hob, but down here is a diesel heater. So in the winter, when it gets quite cold, we'll be able to pump this van with dry air that comes in from underneath the front seat in the cabby. If we crack the window a little bit in the front, we'll get fresh air coming into that front cabby, and then we'll have nice dry air coming in here, because what you don't want in the winter is to have your breath condense and then you'll start to have damp and stuff. And that's another amazing thing that the previous owner, James, thought of that I would never have thought of. We have a thermometer here with humidity meter as well, because I want to just keep an eye on the heat, but mainly the humidity. When you cook in here, it can go up to 100% and you know, you're only cooking for about an hour, so that's okay. But during the day, we try to keep this between 40 and 70% because any, any higher than that, you're just gonna get mold. So that's why we keep this window open, pump this fan on, keep the door open, and then that just helps with all the damp. So carbon monoxide alarm, little mirror, just to check, check what you look like on the way out. And then here we have a Wi-Fi box. Yes, we do have Wi-Fi in here. The main reason we have Wi-Fi is because James, again, the previous owner said that when you were trying to use your phone in here, because the van is so well insulated, you weren't really getting any 4G signal. But this has a antenna that's connected to the roof that goes outside. So you have 4G signal coming in here, and then we have 4G inside the van. Isn't that amazing? Like we need that for all of our work. And again, just in case we have a fire, we have a fire extinguisher here. Hopefully, we'll never have to use it. So here, we can actually turn on the fridge and off uh, via this sort of 12 volt um, fridge, because the fridge is running off 12 volts. It doesn't need the inverter to run, which is super convenient because the inverter does use uh, power just to be on. So we have this fridge here, and if you ever, you know, don't have anything in there, you can just turn the fridge off and have everything else still on. We have a 12 volt plug in here, so we have a, if we ever want to connect anything in there, we can do that, like a fan or anything like that. We have two USB 3s here, so we have super fast charging at any point really, if we ever sat in here, even reaches the bed, so that's very, very convenient. On the left here is the solar panel sort of um, data coming in. Like this van somehow has been built so well, 
tank. I would have never even thought that vans could have this, but I have an app that connects to pretty much everything in the back and tells me how much current is being used or how much current is being charged into the van. I can see the state of the charge, I can see the temperature, I can see absolutely everything. And I will be honest with you, I'm on this app pr probably more than any other app that I've got <laughs> on my phone right now. It's so true! <laughs> we have another huge storage unit here next to the sofa, so we keep bits and bobs there that are just easy to access. But that's just next to this Prosecco stand. So James built this custom-made stand for Prosecco glasses and it's made from a Prosecco box, something called Valdo. But you can see that the, the glasses are clipped in. So they can be there at all times, even when you're driving, because otherwise obviously they would go flying. To be completely honest, we've used this Prosecco stand so many times, but only once or twice for actual Prosecco. <laughs> Normally when we're like, let's celebrate something, we'll throw in anything in there, like yeah. energy drink, water with a little bit of squash. Something to cheers. Yeah, it's just something to cheers, but just having that specific setup just to cheers things is just so nice. It's just so cute. This whole van was built around this fridge freezer. In vans, usually you get just this small, you know, fridge freezer with a tiny freezer at the top, but we actually have a full on there's so much at the ice cream in there. So, ice creams, obviously. Loads of ice creams and loads of food. But also, just look how much space we have in this fridge. Everything in this van just feels like a home. It doesn't feel like we're living in a van. It literally feels like we're living in a house on wheels. One of the massive selling points of this van was how much storage and how much surface space there is. This kitchen is pretty big already considering that it's inside an actual van that can drive around. Now you might say, oh, why did you put a coffee machine? You had so much space, but we still have a lot of space. And if you haven't watched our previous video, we basically did a whole video on this coffee machine, but it is a beast which runs off really well. Now that we have the two batteries, which turns out it would have been able to run fine on one battery, now that we've tightened everything and we've got two batteries in there, this actually only takes about one or two percent when we run it, which is crazy considering that if it's a sunny day, that's charged up like that. But this is a true beauty. It is something we will not compromise with. And I keep saying this, I don't think we're addicted to coffee. I don't actually think we're addicted to coffee as much as we're addicted to the cozy moment of having a coffee. Because sometimes I just make hot chocolates with it and I just foam the milk and I'm like, ooh, coffee time. Now, the kind of design of the kitchen and bathroomy <laughs> sort of area, just all of the work units, is that there's this beautiful, beautiful tiling. It makes it feel so much more like a home as opposed to having just sort of linoleum or something on the wall that's just wipeable because this is also wipeable, but it's also gorgeous. We've got two regular outlets that we can switch on and off that when the inverter is on, we can use everything from. So if we have a lot of energy, we can blow dry our hair. I can use a hair straightener if I need to. We can use the coffee machine, etc., etc. Above here, We've got a lovely other big storage unit, which we've got three little nice buckets in and another anti-slip mat, so these don't go anywhere. Then, this is so cool, I love this. This light <laughs> in the kitchen isn't even a touch light. Like, it's not even a touch one. I don't have, I just have to wave like this. <gasps> I didn't touch anything. Ah, oh, look how cool that is. But <laughs> once when we were asleep, <laughs> A little fly flew past it and turned it on in the night and it scared the hell out of us. But brilliant. Storage is nice down here as well. We've got all of our food in here, so don't judge what you see, uh, which is gonna be primarily pastas and popcorn <laughs> and biscuits. Loads and loads of storage, some buckets in here too. No anti-slip there, but they fit in pretty perfectly. So when the door is closed, and like I mentioned before, when these things are latched on, it means that the door can't open, so the buckets can't go anywhere because the door is keeping them in. The highlight of the kitchen, actually one of the many highlights of the kitchen is probably this gas stove. It is the only thing that actually runs off the gas that's in the back of the van. Up here, we've got a lovely little storage unit. We've got all of our little spices, little things, tablets, 
we've got our breakfast things, some water and things like that. Here are all of the kitchen utensils that aren't in the drawer, which is just nice to have them, be able to grab them from there. Here we've got our knives, which are magnetically attached on there, tightly so, so they don't go flying around when you're driving either. And another magnetic thing that I think is so cool is this kettle. So it might look like it's just hanging on here. And technically, yes, it is. But this here at the bottom is magnetic. So when you pop it back on, it slots into place and it's attached there so it doesn't start swinging about. This kettle is such a life savior. Here we've got all of our drawers. Now you might be able to tell that they have this beautifully handmade little cork, recycled cork sort of buttons which means that when you're driving, they, they don't open up, they, they don't go anywhere, nothing goes wibbling about. So here we've got just the regulars, cutlery drawer, everything like that that we would need. Oh, oh yeah, look how smooth that is. Now this kitchen is actually from B&Q. It's not a caravan or a camper van kitchen as such, it's actually just a house kitchen that James thought it was just so important to have that real kitchen feel. So we've got like soft closing drawers and things like that, which is just so nice. In every drawer, we also have these lovely little things in between every item, which means that nothing will break when they're sort of, I don't know, slapping together <laughs> whilst we're driving around. Then one thing that we thought was so cool, which we hadn't really seen before, but I bet you it's such a, classic common thing. So we've got our pots and pans, which are also sort of protected from each other. But if you want to use this one, you click this one on. If you want to use the frying pan, you can click it on the frying pan. And it just means that we save so much space in the drawers that not everything has an actual handle attached to it. But it's just awesome. Genius. Ge genius, actually genius. Since everything is pretty much in the same room, we had designated areas for designated things. So we've moved now from the kitchen side of things to the bathroom side of things, where we have sort of things like our toothbrushes, a nice big mirror, so it's good to do your makeup or wash your face, but also another touch light but this one you actually have to touch. And then we've got our sink, which is attached to the water, which Dylan will show you. And down here, we've got a whole lot of toiletries, but also some wash bags when we need to go shower elsewhere and things like that. His and hers towels, you know, everything that you need to sort of start the day and end the day the right way. Throughout the whole van, we have these lights that look like just normal spotlights, but they're all individually turned on and off there. So if you want to, you know, save electricity throughout the day, you can just have a light on where you're sitting. You know, if you're just sitting on the bed, you can have that one on or off. Or you can just turn them all on, which is just so convenient. Down here is another cupboard, but this one is all about the sort of cleaning supplies. This is where all the mechanics of the water pump and the sink goes. At the back here, you will see we have two 25 litre water tanks, which last us about two and a half to three days of water if we're drinking you know as much water as you're meant to be doing throughout the day but this is a motor here that pumps the water that comes out of the tap like this this is powered off the 12 volt battery as well look at the power Ooh. so we get a lot of water there so we have a tap here that turns you know left and right and if you're pointing downwards the water from the sink goes all the way out to the bottom of the van so if you're packed you know somewhere where there's a drain underneath you you can just go straight out but if you're parking somewhere a little bit more stealth and you don't want a huge um, trail, of, trail water. of water going down someone's you know driveway or anything you can turn this and this is the gray water bucket so once that gets full you pull it out you empty it and you connect it back up this is our little wash bowl so this pops out saves a little bit of space saves lots of water as well so instead of using the whole sink you can just use a little bit of water in there i keep saying one of the coolest things but this is one of the very much coolest things that i haven't seen in that many camper vans is an actual actual closet now <laughs> this closet gets even better than just being there it has a little light switch and now you got lights in the closet so there's a lot of storage in here that you wouldn't think of one of the really good things about it is that you have space here for loads of hangers. So we've got things that we don't necessarily want to fold up that are just hanging here. We've got, this is where we keep our laundry also. <laughs> but that's all nice and lit up with the fans that we could see from the back of the van 
that's where they're going. All of that is really well ventilated, which means that we're not gonna get any mold, we're not gonna get any sort of stinky clothes. On this side of the closet, which is also really nicely lit up, is buckets. Now, you might think, okay, this is a lot of storage. What you don't realize is it's double. So you pull one out, and there's one more behind all of them. How cool is that? We've got double on all of these. Everything is double. It is just so brilliant. It means that we can fit all of our clothes in there really nicely. Everything has its sort of designated space as opposed to just being in a cupboard. And light back off. Nice. Now let me show you the full sort of ventilation system we have in this van. You see this sort of vent down here? This ventilation tube here goes all the way down to the bottom of the van, which is the coldest area of the van. And now I can turn a switch here. And now cold air, really cold air is being blown from underneath the van into the van. I'm just going to turn that off now just because it's a little bit loud. And then what we also do is from here with this remote, we turn on the roof. I mean the roof fan, not turn on the roof. So now we have the roof fan. I can turn that up to 100% air out. And when the door is closed, we can open this and you can feel just cold air coming in, non-humid air just coming in and just getting rid of all that humid air. This roof fan does open up. So when you are stationary, you can have a lot more air coming in, but you can have it on when the roof is down as well. Now, this bed is, again, probably one of my favorite parts of the van. I keep saying that. They're all so good, but I need a little bit of a boost to get up. <laughs> okay, so let me just turn this light off. It is already extremely comfortable. It is custom built particularly for this van and you might be able to tell that on this side there's a bit of an indentation and same thing on this side there's a bit of an indentation which is just brilliant because it means that rather than having a really short and stumpy bed those extra couple of inches on either side really help us being able to sleep straight. I can sleep completely straight. Dill has to curl up ever so slightly but for all of those of you who are worried that Dylan's not comfortable in this bed. We haven't slept anywhere else and we've had options to and we just haven't because it's so comfortable and we're sleeping so well. The mattress is super comfortable. We've got a mattress topper on it. We've got all of our fluffy pillows, which is just brilliant. But on top of that, there's a couple of little things here and there that are really good for this bed. So for example, here we've got two USB chargers. We've actually never used these, but what we're thinking about maybe doing is attaching a little um, projector to that so we can watch something on here because we could also, with these two plugs that we have here, attach a TV, but we don't really watch TV and sometimes once in a while we'll watch movies. Either way, we've also got a little sort of compartment here where we can do some storage of a couple of things here and there if you want to put your phone there or if you want to put some lip balm. You've got the two lights above which are just the same ones as the rest of the van and these lovely little curtains because otherwise you're just sort of looking at the van sort of door even though the door is really nice it just makes it a bit more cozy it's like the the feng shui is a little bit better <laughs> with the curtains closed next to the bed which is just like a prime location for this is this tiny little thing you might think what does that do this one works with a little heater that dylan showed us just over there so if we're ever in bed and we think Ugh, it's so cold we can turn that on but also what's right next to it is the fan so if we want to turn that on if it's really hot we can also do that next to two remotes we've actually got an actual fan we've never had to use it because it's not been that hot especially not in the uk but this fan can plug right into the regular 12 volt almost lighter looking sockets that they have in the front of cars that's just there on the side and i think that's everything i hope you've enjoyed the tour of our lovely new home we cannot wait to get on the road properly properly and please subscribe if you want to watch us do proper off-grid van life in Wales starting pretty much now. Also, for those of you who are still watching, first of all, thank you. Second of all, the name that we're thinking, since it's an LT35, we're thinking 
Elton. Do you love it? Please tell us, Lou. Please tell us you love it. We love it. Look, Elton. He's smart. He's a little bit quirky. He's, he's a little bit older, but he's wise. Also very stylish. Yay! 